your material um, mm -hmm. that so you what you're going to do is you're going to go in far and deep far okay we actually want to go just stop want, actually want to go in a little bit closer because this is going to be your central mm -hmm. suture so it's going to hold your tube in place so you want your tube slightly off center but close to one of the, the sides go in far and deep and far and deep probably a bit of an exaggeration just so that you can get an idea and then what you want to do is pull through so that you've got long tails in here and I'm just doing this so that you can see obviously that you, you want to be safe when you're handling your needle then in shallow and close shallow and close Point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use part of this as for the U-shaped suture afterwards. I'm going to get your tails pretty much equal. I'm going to tie a notch. not tying Go around <laughs> oh, sorry guys no pleasure yeah no pressure at all hello please come join us okay so it's pretty much halfway up obviously um Amira does it in a far more professional way because he does a lot more chest strains than I do then what you want to do is you take around, around, and around until you've got a little bit left before the knot so that the knot's on this side of the suture. Okay, so that's what you're going to see. And this is to basically anchor this in, so that's using this as an anchor. Okay, but it also gives you a space to cut when you're taking the tube out to cut um, without going um, through the actual anchoring portion so that we've got something to tie up afterwards. And then you basically just wrap it around and tie off in a simple, simple knot. Oh. With the top here, okay. That's basically the gist of it. Okay, so there you can see it's nicely anchored in. Mm -hmm. okay, and can just cut this off so we can see what's what. Okay, so now what you're going to do <clears throat> is you're going to do your U shaped suture. And this is to anchor the peripheral aspects of the incision when you take the, the tube out. So basically, just enough to catch the edges. Even a little tail. Obviously you can use extra suture material when you do this on a patient, just because this is a demo, I'm not going to use too much suture material. And you anchor in the peripheral aspects of the <coughs> other side. And basically at this point, cut off the tails. Now it's much better, obviously, if you've got longer tails because it leaves you more to work with. But this will do the trick. So this would basically just be put under here with under the dressing when you dress around the wound okay or around the incision and the tube until the tube's ready to come out okay and when the tube's ready to come out you obviously ask your patient to do a valsalva either on the end of inspiration or expiration you will cut over here so you can see the knot that original knot mm -hmm. you cut over here you undo 
sides here and the end of inspiration expiration pull the tube out and obviously close the wound with some gauze or whatever and now this is where you pull this together your original vertical mattress suture and you just tie it okay you can see the incisions pulled together nicely there so that's your sort of central aspect and then for this you just for your your u-shape you just pull the the peripheral <coughs> aspects of the wound together the incision together just pull up and over and up and over back pull it nice and firmly tight and should be a bit tighter but unfortunately pulling this it pulls through this stuff so that's pretty much it that's your u-shaped suture that's your vertical mattress suture okay so one through the center and one keeping the peripheral aspects of the incision together does mm. that help a bit yeah. okay. thank you well, it is ugly. Mm -hmm.